Look at the color of my face. This is absolutely absurd. Well, good morning guys and welcome to a very, very chilly mid-April morning um, down at West Bay. I've come out nice and local. It's very, very dark at the moment. It's still an hour before sunrise, but I've met up with Gary Goff. He's come down from the north, down to the south and um, wanted me to show him a couple of locations. And uh, I thought nothing better than coming, coming down to somewhere I know, like the back of my hand, um, West Bay and it really is gonna be a good morning, I think. I don't think I've ever had a decent morning, like a super, super colorful morning uh, at West Bay, despite the hundreds of times I've been here. Um, but this morning, touch wood, it is gonna be good. Um, it's about an hour before sunrise already and we are already getting a burning sky. I'm just gonna quickly cut back to the office at my, uh, at my thinking and planning for this kind of morning because the whole cloud um, progression throughout this morning is is quite interesting and I actually screen recorded it last night on my phone just so that if it was good I could show you guys my thinking um, so that you could kind of like do that in your own kind of when you go out and do landscape photography because it's really difficult to try and preempt the weather and try and plan it and often the weather apps are an absolute nightmare but on this occasion so far it's actually planned out as it said so let's quickly cut back to the warm uh, and then we'll come back in a sec so we're back in the warm now. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Um, it's about to get a lot, lot better. So do stick around. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, do click that subscribe button, give us a like. And um, yeah, all that good stuff. So let's have a quick look through the weather. Last night I screen recorded uh, my weather app. I use an app called Ventusky, 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 something like that. Um, and it's fantastic for predicting like clouds. Um, well, I say predicting, I say fantastic. It's not really, they're all, okay but on this occasion it was correct um, and it was really correct and stick around and you can see exactly why but i'm going to put this uh, up on screen for you guys right here so you can see exactly what i'm looking at um, so last night when i was looking at the weather i was looking at the different types of clouds so you can see high cloud is um, is selected here and you can see there's a lot of high cloud above that little orange dot where i am and looking at the medium medium clouds or the middle clouds there's a bit of that kicking around, but it's moving in from the west. And I always look for weather that's moving in from the west, especially when I'm shooting a sunrise. Uh, and now if I look at the low cloud, there's barely any low cloud around sunrise. And again, it's moving in from the west. So the weather front is moving in from the west. Now, the high cloud is a lot. There's a lot of high cloud and the high cloud is the stuff that catches the color. Um, and you can see here off to the east of the UK, I'm looking for the big gap and you can see there is a big gap in the clouds. Um, and that is what I'm looking for when I, when I go for a sunrise, I'm always looking for that nice big gap because if there's a big gap, that means that the sun's going to come through. And if you have a big gap, high cloud, not a lot of low cloud, um, you're kind of in the right sort of ballpark for colorful skies. Um, so yeah, grab yourself a cup of tea, kick back, relax, and let's get back. So you can see now with the planning, how this is kind of paid off. Like, I reckon though, 90% of the time, uh, the weather's wrong. <laughs> the weather apps are just an absolute nightmare to try and predict. So on this occasion, it's actually kind of planned out the way that it said it would with that massive gap and all that high cloud above us, not a lot of low cloud, and there's absolutely no low cloud. There's a little bit of medium cloud kicking around and um, it's kind of pretty much exactly what it said, which is super, super rare, but I always try and plan these things just in case so that you know you get out and uh, hopefully try and capture some colorful skies. But when you have a gap like that and you have a lot of high cloud and not a lot of low cloud, it's kind of a recipe for a colorful sky. And even an hour before sunrise, um, we're getting color. So it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of what it said for once. It actually, it actually worked. The sunrise is in 45 minutes. Oh, you can see me now. Yeah, it's still really, really dark. I've just taken a shot. 
The sky looks epic. Um, it's very, very vibrant. It's going to be very, very hard to edit. I can tell you that already. But there's pink all around us. So I'm, I think I might venture down onto the beach in a minute. But I'll pop this image up on screen for you guys now so you can so you can see what we're looking at. But you know what West Bay looks like. It's pretty, pretty iconic. It's pretty easy to shoot it. It's just it's a composition on a plate, basically. And you just walk up and grab it. So settings for this one were 30 seconds F11 ISO 640. No filters, no nothing. Just one shot looking straight at East Cliff. And yeah, that's it. Really, really nice sky. Long exposure, simple. One click, job done. I'm just gonna grab one more while well, this looks really nice. And then, uh, yeah, head down to the beach. Some nice reflections, the color looks good. And yeah, let's just see what else we can get. So I've come down onto the beach now because I kind of prefer the compositions down here on the beach. You can get closer to the sea. Uh, you've got that lovely leading line of the waves and this morning the tide's really nice and the beach is really clean. Um, sometimes it's uh, quite messy here with like seaweed and stuff, but this morning you're getting that beautiful white, uh, like crashing wavy, like leading line with the, uh, with the waves. And it just works really well as it you know, draws your eye into the shot. Um, I have come down onto the beach now to just try and get a slightly different comp. I really like the composition looking straight down uh, these cliffs. They're really vertical, they're very steep. They, there's cliff falls here all the time. It's super dangerous over there. Uh, but they are super iconic and they're really nice to look at. And they work well, uh, just like putting them right up against the edge of the frame. Um, as long as you've got something in the background, like a nice colorful sky or something, which is what we have today. So um, I'm working on a slightly different comp uh, than I've shot before and I think it works I mean it's not I think the only issue with today is the sun is rising just a little bit too far to the left of the shot or the left of the scene um, than I would like I would like it a little bit more to the right or directly behind East Cliff but unfortunately it's not but it's still good the sky is lovely I can't moan this is really really nice yeah framed up East Cliff on the left hand side using this white lead in line um, and then there's another cliff from Burton Bradstock in the back and it's kind of just lit up by this beautiful pink sky um, I think it's going to come out okay we'll just see got the 24 to 70 on uh, the Sigma 24 to 72.8 on my Sony a7 IV no filters needed I might put a polarizer on in a minute but I don't think it really needs it uh, f11 20 seconds ISO 100. It's still really dark I'm still shooting at 20 seconds with no filters on well, Gary seems to be enjoying himself get them out down south and uh, show them some nice iconic locations but yeah this is a it's turning out to be a rather beautiful morning Okay, so what we've got going on here is a bit of dodging the waves and trying not to uh, try not to get soaking wet. But as you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous behind me. Um, we've got a really nice pink glow up here in the sky, and it's just really nice to be messing around with different types of. Well, trying not to get super wet. Gary's feet are wet already, um, but messing around with different shutter speeds to try and get movement in the waves. So I'm around about four or five seconds at the moment. I'm just rocking backwards between the two, trying to find a happy sort of medium with the shutter speed. Uh, everything around about f11 focusing on the cliff um, still no filters it's still reasonably dark and i'm still getting four or five seconds without having to use any filters so i'll probably put some on in a minute to help uh, slow that shutter speed down and keep it around about four or five seconds so maybe a three stop um, and that's it really we're just uh we're just shooting and enjoying the sunrise it's really nice to have a colorful sky uh, at west bay for once and yeah good morning out got wet feet yet <laughs> you have <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Look at the sky! Please bear with me. This is mental. The 
So I'm just setting up, rattling off shots now, around about, oh, wet feet, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care, this could be the shot. I'm still rattling off. I've got finger down on the button, rattling off shots. Yes, looks good. I'm just gonna slightly move. All I'm doing is lining up the composition and rattling it off while this sky is absolutely epic. More wet feet, oh God. What is happening? What is that sky? Buzzing, absolutely buzzing. I can't remember the last time I ever saw a sky like that. And furthermore, we're now 35 minutes after sunrise and it is still kicking off. Wow. I think we're gonna wrap this one up here because it's not gonna get any better than what we just had. I just had like 10 or 15 minutes running around like a headless chicken trying to capture that color. Um, it kind of makes the shots this morning, the first one's absolutely pointless because that color was just absolutely incredible. And as you can see, it literally covered the entire sky. And actually once when I planned the sunrise and looked at the weather apps and kind of planned the clouds or, or planned to go out because of the clouds that were there, um, it actually paid off. Um, it doesn't really happen like that, uh, as you all know, but I think it's always good to look at these weather apps to try and, uh, you know, preempt when it could be nice. And you saw like my planning behind the shot, how I thought there was this big gap and there was this huge gap. Although we can't see a gap, there is a gap over there somewhere and the sun's got to come through. Um, and if there's loads of high cloud like there was, boom, it's just a recipe for a, for a crazy, crazy sky, and it actually worked for once. So uh, yeah, I'm super stoked. It's been great to meet up with Gary, and uh, I think we're gonna head out tomorrow somewhere. I don't know what the weather's looking like, but we're just gonna go out and do some photography. Um, but yeah, thanks for sticking around. If you have stuck around to the end, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do consider clicking subscribe below. Uh, give us a like, tell us what you think down in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one.